up and down there. So the space weather event could also create disruptions here on Earth, too. People may experience radio frequency blackouts, GPS problems, or even power irregularities. So that's expected to happen on Friday. Oh. So if something's going on with your phone or something like that for a short time, it may be because of this geomagnetic storm. Whoa. But it's beautiful when you go up to the North Lights. It really is. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It really is. Gorgeous. But it's far right. down to see it in Iowa and stuff like that. That's, that's somewhat unique, right? Unless there's something between <laughs> you and the Northern Lights. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Cloud cover. <laughs> <laughs> you may not You're see in the anything. Midwest. We yeah, saw we that get flare them. up on Tuesday and we're tracking kind of the strength of it. Like, okay, mm -hmm. all right, let's get some of these graphics together. And then we kind of had to remind myself, oh, that's right. There's we rain can. coming. <laughs> oh, no. Dang. Overnight tonight, all day Friday, uh, pretty cloudy in and across the area. Now, that being said, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to do some traveling, Head north, my friends, and uh, that's where you may see the uh, the northern lights. But we're going to be shrouded in cloud cover uh, this evening, you know, tomorrow morning, even tomorrow night. As you'll see in a second, uh, there's going to be some cloud cover in and across the area. Beautiful shot here, the intersection. First, our weather cam showing WNDU temperatures, though. Now that's beautiful. 53 degrees as we close out November and get set for December. Southwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, but this is what's coming. So again, with the northern lights, this is the rain. Cloud cover extends uh, away from this system. Also starting to see that snow show up and back into uh, New Mexico and also the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. It's going to be for our Friday morning. And again, we talked about this on Wednesday and Thursday uh, that everything is lining up for an all rain event. A bit of a soaking rain, especially when you factor in this time of year. It's tough to get a lot of moisture in a cold environment or at least a cool atmosphere, unlike the spring, late spring, or even the summer. Uh, so half an inch to an inch, not out of the question. We start the day. This is Thursday at 9 p.m., upper 40s, perhaps even a little bit into lower 50s. But with that cloud cover in place, temperatures are going to cool very slowly. So that's why it's kind of a big deal that we got into the 50s today. If we were any cooler, we'd be talking about a switch over to some snow into Bering and Cass County. But since we were able to warm up to the 50s and I expect temperatures to cool a lot slower tonight by five o'clock on Friday in the morning. It's going to be all rain wind coming in from the south lower 40s showing up uh, on the thermometer and will stay right there. Even though the rain is going to be coming down, uh, the temperatures aren't going to cool all that much. Now you do see the blue. Now, starting off Friday morning, if your travel plans take you up uh, possibly into Grand Rapids, Lansing, uh, Detroit, Oakland County, off there uh, towards the east, that's where we may flip over to some snow and travel and uh, may become uh, impacted. Same situation if you're going north of Chicago, back up into Milwaukee and Wisconsin, they may get some snow as well. But if you're going to want to see the northern lights, you're going to have to travel far to the north to get away from this system. Now this is Friday 11 o'clock in the morning. Rain will start to wrap up cloud cover. This is what I was talking about. Cloud cover sticks around with some light showers uh, into early Saturday morning, but that will eventually clear out as well. The rain cloud cover uh, through most of the day on Friday and early on Saturday. High temperatures the next couple of days though uh, support Rain, 42 on Friday, 43 on Saturday, 45 degrees on Sunday. Of course, we got Toys for Tots coming up uh, on Saturday. Saturday morning looks cloudy. It's going to be a little damp and wet, but in terms of accumulating rainfall, that is not in the forecast during the time that we're going to be out there. It might be damp, but you know what? We are not going to dampen the spirits of giving. You're going to be out there. Yes. You will be out there. I'll be out there as well, along with the rest of the team. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. I have heard stories of uh, this going differently in a little bit oh, yeah. more substantial weather. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, this yes. actually looks pretty good, especially for this time of year. Was it last year? I remember you distinctly Junior. being out there and it yes. was raining, raining and just cold. Pouring. It pouring. was It was terrible. Was There's boring. a picture somewhere and I will find it and post it. It was a downpour. So yep. this, I mean, it's just fine. They're playing us off. They're playing us okay. off. Wow. Boy, that's the holiday news. It's like the hook. We gotta go. Still <laughs> tough at 424 distraction.